Hey, what's up guys? Another little short video. I had a problem with my K2 and shifter. Um, it came loose on me while I was driving it last week. First of all, I want to apologize if the audio is not great, but I forgot my microphone in the house. Yeah, last week when I was driving with uh, Chepa back home, the shifter got loose and this is actually the second time that it's happened. But I will go on by saying that this is in no way a problem with k2 and this is of my doing so let me show you what's going on so pretty much i was driving down the road and the set screw for over here came loose as you can see i have it somewhere on the seat but also you can check out that Chasing J's titanium rod, but that's another story. But this is my fault, like I said, because what's going on is that this is an OEM EM1 shifter boot, and it has the collar, so you can clip on the shifter. And But what happens is that it blocks, the, the, the K2 shifter has like a little base there, so this doesn't, like this is as far as it goes. So as you can see there's only so much room that I have to lock it in only that first um, set screw fits and then since the distance is so high the screw that goes in here doesn't fit because it's short but I fixed that I went to AutoZone no well to Home Depot and got a longer screw so hopefully it's not too long and this could easily be avoided also if I put some Loctite on the on the set screw and it would never move <laughs> but I have a separate problem under the boot that I'm gonna talk about in another day so I'm not gonna Loctite nothing until I figure that out so let me get the screws in here and see how tight we can get it all right guys as you can see we're all back up putting this screw back on you know the longer one made all the difference so like i said this is in no way you know to reflect on ktum because this is me wanting to keep this shift boot and making it work but like i said i will have zero problems when I'm ready to lock tight this with blue, lock tight this with blue, and it won't have any problem. These have not moved at all. All right, guys. Uh, part two of the video is gonna be. I picked up a, a rear strut bar from Aunt East New York, the real part out king of New York, um, for a great deal. This is. I actually wanted to get this strut bar for the front, but I don't. No, if I spoke about this, I have a custom made strut bar in the front from RFAM. And I love that thing. I wouldn't change it for anything. But I picked this one up. They go for like a buck forty new. And I picked it up from Ant for 50 bucks. And it's something that I couldn't, you know, I couldn't pass up that deal. So let me show you the strut bar. It's one, two, three to put it on. And then let's go for a little drive with the new fixed shifter so yeah guys this is the strut bar the dc steel series it looks pretty pretty cool so you know how it goes two on here two over there sorry for the mess in here and we should be good to go as you see guys one two three like i said again sorry for the mess strut bar looks good in there and now let's go for a ride. Just put the, you know, finished the, the fixing the K2 shifter and um, putting the strut bar on. And I wanted to give a couple of thoughts on the shifter. Hopefully, my voice comes through the camera. But I think the shifter for the price is very good. You know, the only competitor is um, Hybrid Racing. 
and the hybrid racing is like about 300 bucks and I think if you go for the K-Tune you're not really missing out on much you're getting a good shifter so um, right now I'm on my way to Floyd Bennett Field just for a little Sunday drive nothing major and uh, just hang out Said they didn't really have anywhere to go today so just wanted to go for a little drive but ever since you know the restrictions for the corona have been lifted traffic's been insane like on the weekends on the highways it's bumper to bumper and you know in a car like this with the clutch and you know it, it, it the way it's adjusted it's very hard to to, to be an hour of um, of traffic bumper to bumper so I haven't really taken the car out and I still have a lot a lot of things that I want to get done to it so but that's why you know I wanted to just come out and enjoy it for a little bit go for a little drive but as far as the K2 and shift a little bit more detailed description i've been i've been running it now for a couple of months you know take the car out maybe once a weekend something like that and the shifts are crisp the shifter itself is very you know feels very high end very well made very well machined and aside from that small problem that i had which was caused by me i haven't had any problems with it and um the reason I, I i like the em1 shift well and i refuse to get like the circuit hero plate and i think now hybrid makes one for like 50 bucks in my honest opinion i think that those are overpriced and i have a little info that some a company that i really support and i really love what they do is coming out with one so until they come out with that one i'm not gonna get one when when they do release it i hope to be one of the first ones to get it not because of the channel or whatever because we have any very few viewers but because i i buy a lot from the company and i and he, i want to be like first in line to get it and i also want to say you know i know we don't have a lot of viewers and subscribers but the people that really do watches and actually subscribe I, we really appreciate you me and my brother you know we have regular jobs and we're not doing this to become famous or anything like that we just thought that you know the stuff that we we, we do is cool and we've been doing it for so long now like i got into hondas when i was 16 and i'm 30 like mid to late 30s now on and off and my brother's been doing it the whole time too he's only two years younger than me so i feel like if anything we got at least a little bit of knowledge to give to you guys and you know you, maybe you can learn from our experiences and like people like i know mikey and um and mad max and donovan you guys tell me that you watch the videos all the time and I know you guys really don't not are uh, into Hondas but the fact that you guys support the channel and watch it it, it means a lot to me and my brother and I, I just hope that you know we can grow the channel to a little bigger because even though we know that automotive YouTube is huge I feel like the Honda part of it is not so like if you're doing like Honda content in order like to, to, to get like a million subs, I think it's super hard. But if we could just, you know, 
reach a, a the core audience of a, a nice group you know i think that would be great so help us grow subscribe watch the channels and thanks a lot guys see you next time